Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another What I Wore in a Week video where I will share all of the outfits, both casual and comfy, to proper leaving the house type outfits. So today is Monday, the start of a fresh week. It is Monday the 1st of May, it's a bank holiday, the first of our May bank holidays. We've got a few this year because of the coronation. Um, so yesterday, as you would have seen in last week's What I Wore in a Week video, we were at a christening. It was such a good day. It was amazing. But we got in actually not late last night. I think we went to bed at about half ten. Um, you all right, Boris? I don't know where he is. <laughs> so, yeah, I th it was just a full on sort of all day thing. So I think we're just today going to recover. So I've just had a morning shower to wake myself up, hence the towel. And this is the first outfit of the week. So underneath my sweat, I have got on a grey rib flex. That's the collection it's from. Vest from Organic Basics. My usual... Majuri chain necklace, which I rarely take off. The sweat top is the quarter zip from Organic. Uh, no, not Organic, from Colourful Standard. Sorry, but it is Organic Cotton. That's why I get my words mixed up. And I do have a 10% off discount for anything from Colourful Standard, which will be down below in the description box. And the shorts are the, I think they're called the unisex sweatshorts, but they're just sweatshorts. These are also from Colourful Standard and they are in the colour Hunter Green. I think I keep calling it Forest Green. That's incorrect. If you ever hear me say Forest Green, what I actually mean is Hunter Green. It's a really nice sort of dark, kind of like Land Rover Green. And then the socks, they are also... Uh, colourful standard and they are optical white as is the quarter zip so there we go that's first outfit of the week first outfit of this glorious bank holiday monday well the plan was very much to chill out for today but i have been tempted out for lunch with my friend she said the magic word which is chips i can always be lured out with the promise of chips so we're just gonna go up the road for a pub lunch so i have got changed out of my comfies because we've been set out in the garden it's starting to kind of intermittently go overcast so that's why i've got the jump on. but i do have a t-shirt on underneath i can whip that off because we're going to go and sit in the beer garden so i have got a layer there for warmth so on top i have on that chunky lulu studio jumper again it's had a lot of wear over the last couple of weeks Majuri necklace i've popped my hoops back in i wore those yesterday so i've just popped them back in celine these are the Baby Audrey sunglasses. Bottoms, these are Marks and Spencer, and I think I wore some of these last week, but in the creamy color. These are like the Chino-y combat trousers, but without the combat element. And these are in that nice kind of light, pale khaki color. And then sandals, these are from the Australian brand, St. Agni and they're in like a creamy colour with black sole and silver hardware. So that's what I'm wearing to head out for a quick little pub lunch. Good afternoon everyone, it is now Tuesday and it is afternoon time. Uh, we made an action plan early on this morning which meant that I didn't get ready or didn't get dressed into my cosies this morning, we just took the dogs out, so I was in my dog walking clothes as soon as we got up because we then were heading off to Ikea to pick up a unit so that we can finish and move into our ensuite. And this is what I wore to just pop out to Ikea in. So on top I have got a really old H&M jumper. I think this was from either 2019 or 2020 I think it was 2020 and I have it in the other reverse colorway as well so bigger chunkier white stripes with the black smaller black stripes and on the bottom these trousers are actually also H&M these are they've got these big kind of baker pockets on the front kind of like the ones that I've got from Uniqlo 
and then they have a little strappy thing here. So I suppose they're kind of like a cargo trouser. They're really nice, soft, comfy twill fabric as well and a relatively decent length for H&M trousers because I do struggle with H&M for trouser lengths. And on the bottom footwear, I've just got a pair of my sleepers flip-flops on, which admittedly was a little bit ambitious because it is quite windy today, but I'm just trying to get my toes in training for hopefully toes out weather that should be coming soon this week, fingers crossed. <laughs> so that is what I was wearing today. I think now we're gonna do a bit of assembling. So I will probably pick you back up tomorrow morning. Hello, it is now Wednesday and today I have been painting and finishing off some bits in the ensuite, which I think by the point that you'll be watching this video, the ensuite video will have already gone up, I think. But at this point, I have just finished doing my touch-ups. It's about half five in the afternoon. And so this is my painting outfit that I've been in pretty much all day. I'm not gonna run through it because it's all old and let's face it, it's just covered in paint. So that is how my Wednesday has panned out. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be doing something that actually involves getting dressed properly. Hello and good morning everyone. It is now Thursday. So yesterday I spent the entire day doing all the touch-ups here in the bathroom, which you would have already seen uh, on Sunday. And then I also painted our entire bedroom. So Simon decided that he wanted a lighter colour in here because in winter it did get a little bit dark. So it is now Joanna, surprise, surprise. And we have now moved back into our bedroom after about maybe just over a month of living or rather sleeping upstairs in the guest bedroom that we renovated at the start of the year. And um, so, yeah, it's just really nice to be back in our own bedroom and to now have our ensuite as well. So this morning is beautiful it is a glorious morning we've got the windows open it's very springtime the birds are chirping the sun is out it's just it's lovely it's one of my favorite times of year and along with that comes a rise in temperature so today it's supposed to get up to about 19 degrees which is very exciting i think it will probably be the warmest day of the year so far and i <laughs> am wearing linen which I can't quite believe because I woke up this morning and it was just nice and warm in the house. We haven't had the heating on now for I think a couple of months and it was just lovely and warm. The sun was coming in through the windows and it's just oh, perfect. So yeah, I've got a linen set on. In fact, let me just pop down my tea a minute. Oh, let's pop that down there. So I've got a linen set on here comprising of a long sleeve shirt and some slightly cropped, very baggy. I did actually size up in this set when I bought it last year. And this is from the Australian brand, which I'm unsure on the pronunciation as per usual, but Deji, 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 Deji Studios, I think, or Deji Studio. And it comes as a set. So I will link that down below in the description box. Underneath, I've got, this is just like a ribbed, comes up to about here, but a ribbed crop top. That is from Organic Basics. And then I have got on my, these are the furry ones, as you can see. So my furry lined Birkenstock Arizonas, which are basically slippers. So yeah, there we go. That is this morning's outfit. I'm not actually sure what we've got planned for today. So stay tuned and I will more than likely be back with another outfit in a bit. Right, we are just about to head out. So of course, I'm gonna share with you my outfit. Step back so you can see it all in full view. So up top, jewelry wise, I have got on my Majuri dome hoops, the chunky ones. This is the Majuri curb chain, solid gold, that one. 
uh, t-shirt is Organic Basics Boxy Tee in black. The bag is from Dragon Diffusion. I think this is now a couple of years old. I'm a big fan of Dragon Diffusion bags. It's time to whip out the spring summer bags. The skirt you will probably recognise from the What's New in My Wardrobe for spring video. This is the white denim A-line skirt from Kos. And then I have gone back to my little mesh Mary Janes, my little mesh flats. And then if you can see there, I do also have, excuse my veiny feet, a little anklet on from Monica Vinader. So that is what I am wearing for heading out. Good morning, everyone. It is now Friday. I've been up early getting some washing done, as you will see here behind me. I need to iron our curtains to put those back in the bedroom up here today, because last night we slept without the curtains. And although it's not a problem during the night time, in the morning it's obviously getting lighter and I just really struggle to sleep when it's really, really light. I mean, I get up pretty early anyway, but yes, we need to get up the curtains today. So I need to do a bit of ironing. Um, having a bit of a slow morning, just getting some chores done. So this is what I have got on. The sweatshirt, this is in the colour ivory white, I believe. This is the oversized crew neck sweatshirt from Colourful Standard. The shorts are also Colourful Standard and they are in the colour Hunter Green. So today we are going to go out and we're going to do a big shop at the supermarket so I will be back to share my outfit for that and then I'll probably get changed again later because we're going to go and watch the village beacon being lit up for the coronation so I'll probably need something a little bit warmer on because that's going to be at half nine in the evening. I am back, I have finished doing, well I haven't finished but I've finished putting in all of my laundry so it's now airing out on all our areas and I've got dressed because we are going to go and do a big shop at Sainsbury's. So this is the outfit. Uh, I've got my Celine sunglasses on, earrings are the Majuri dome hoops, also got the Majuri curb chain necklace on, the shirt is my old favourite, I think from 2020 from House of Dagmar, it is quite long but I've tucked it in at the front. Got a little Museum of Peace and Quiet tote bag there, just so that we can pop our other shopping bags in. And then these are those Uniqlo trousers, which were from the What's New in My Wardrobe for spring video. And I think they've also been in some of my other What I Wore in a Week videos. And then footwear wise, these are my Birkenstock Arizonas in the color Torp. So there we go, that is today's big shop outfit. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are gonna be going out tonight. So I think I might adapt my outfit just to be, or I might change completely. I haven't decided yet, but just so that it's a bit more suited to the chilly evening tonight, because we are gonna be going out. Good evening, or rather late afternoon. I have indeed decided to get changed for this evening's beacon lighting, just because it's not like a fancy event or anything, it's just a load of villagers huddled around a giant lantern thing. So it is very much a casual affair, so I just want it to be comfortable and most importantly warm because I do think the temperature's going to drop. So on top, I have got on one of my absolute favourite Kos jumpers, Kos cashmere, thick, toasty, delicious, mmm and beige, also another favourite of mine. Majuri necklace, Majuri earrings, as I was wearing earlier. Bottoms wise, I've got on, these are really baggy jeans. Again, these are from Kos. And these, I can't actually remember the style name. I always forget the style name of these, but they're really, really long. They're actually even too long for me, which is saying something. And then on the bottom in terms of shoes, I have just got on my Birkenstock Bostons. These are in the taupe colour. And 
And yes, I wear them with socks. I've got on my heat tech socks just in case it does get a little bit chillier tonight. But as I said, it's just a casual thing outside watching the beacon being lit. Um, so most importantly, I just wanted to be nice and warm. So there we go. We're going to head up to the pub now for a few drinks beforehand and maybe even get some chips. And then we're going to watch the beacon. So I will catch you tomorrow. Hello and good morning. It is now Saturday. It's also coronation day which is very exciting but we did just realize because we weren't sure what we were going to do today whether we were going to go to the pub or go out to watch it on a tv somewhere or whether we were going to stay home and this morning we just sort of got up and felt like staying home watching it so we did sort of assess the cupboards and despite the fact that we did a big like a really big big shop the other day we feel like we don't particularly have anything that's festive so i'm gonna nip out and get some scones and some clotted cream which my tummy's not going to agree with so that we can have an english cream tea whilst we watch all the coronation celebrations so that's why i'm kind of dressed with shoes on this morning so that i can just quickly nip out to the shop so the baseball cap is museum of peace and quiet I have my Majuri necklace on, which I sleep in. The sweatshirt is colourful standard. The shorts are Pangaea in navy. And then down on the bottom, I have got, oh, no, I can't bend down. I've got New Balance socks on and New Balance 327s. And they are, this is navy, but I don't think that's particularly coming out on camera, but this is a navy N. So I do kind of, colour coordinate with the shorts so that's what I've got on this morning I might go and get changed for watching the coronation not into anything major probably just put some more sweats on maybe so I might be back in a bit to share that outfit with you but otherwise this is me heading off for some scones right I am back from the shop I did decide to get changed because it started raining which is pretty classic of any coronation slash British event it wouldn't be a British event without some rain so although we're not standing outside the temperature has dipped a little bit so I've got changed I've got changed into some proper clothes I thought I can't be wearing sweats for the coronation of our new king so on top, I have got on a Kos cashmere jumper. It's nice and cosy. Even though it's not super cold, it's just nice to be snuggled up in this. Uh, and that is in navy. Notice the theming of the colours. I don't actually own anything red, so I couldn't do red, white and navy. So I'm just in navy and white. And then on the bottom, these are my Uniqlo cotton trousers with the big baker pockets which I think I've worn somewhere else this week or on another day this week and then I've just got my Birkenstock Boston mules on without socks because it doesn't actually need socks today so there we go that is today's watching the coronation outfit I'm gonna go and stuff my face with scones and tea good morning everyone it is now Sunday I'm back in the kitchen, in my kitchen spot, and I am dressed and ready to head out for the day because I'm just waiting for my friend to pick me up. We're going to Blue Water, um, which is a bit brave on a Sunday. I wouldn't normally go to Blue Water on a weekend, but she works during the week, so... Um, Sunday is kind of Saturday and Sunday as our only option. So this is what I'm wearing for such an occasion. Blazer is Emma Hill. That's me. Uh, my collaboration with The Curated and this is the black one. So it's the first one we released. Underneath I've got a t-shirt on which is very very see-through but it's just nice and lightweight. It's kind of like a linen t-shirt. That is from H&M. Got my Celine So Sangle bag that was bought second hand, pre loved off Vestiaire. These trousers are quite old, had two or three years old. These were originally from Jigsaw, but as you can see, they're nice and lightweight, nice and loose, nice and floaty, so they're kind of good for a day shopping. And then shoe wise, these, these are properly ancient. 
but these are my ATP Atelier Rosa slides, which have got absolutely no grip whatsoever. I really should get them resold with some rubber. Now this is actually a outfit which I am recycling. So if we can fit it on screen, I'll pop the original that I wore a few years ago uh, on screen. And I'm basically just, I think there's a couple of elements which are different, but I am just re-wearing one of my own outfits that I wore a couple of years ago using myself as inspo. So yes, there we go. That is my outfit for a blue water trip. Good evening, everyone. I got back from blue water about half an hour ago and completely forgot after having spent the entire day from open to close at blue water, completely forgot that we had agreed to go out tonight um, for like a proper sit down Chinese meal in a Chinese restaurant. And I had, I don't know where that went in my brain, it just vacated my brain. So I have had to very quickly have a quick wash, haven't had time to wash my hair or do anything. I've literally just run a brush through it very quickly, believe it or not, and I've got changed and had a bit of a freshen up. So on top, I have got on an Arquette shirt. I don't know if this is still available. Mine's a few years old now, but it's just basically an oversized classic shirt and it's got those little cut out details on the side as well. Then on the bottom, I have got some, these are like a very, very pale yellow and they are an elasticated waistband trouser, which I think is gonna be essential when eating a Chinese meal because there's lots of rice and stuff, lots of things that make you bloat. So I'm all about, it's buffet trousers, isn't it? I'm all about the buffet trousers, even though it's not actually a buffet. And actually this is another, similar to the outfit I wore for the rest of the day today. This is another recycled outfit. So I'll share that again on screen if we have space somewhere, just to show you how the outfit looked that I basically got the inspo for, because I just didn't have time tonight to think of an outfit. And then on the bottom, I've just got my Birkenstock Arizonas and they're in black suede. So there we go, that's me, a little bit dishevelled, but ready to head out for this Chinese meal. And while I have you, there was a few of you who pointed out, very eagle-eyed viewers that pointed out our dining chairs in last, uh, last week's What I Wore in a Week video. So yes, you've been very beady-eyed got a keen eye haven't you and you've spotted spoiler alert our dining chairs we've got a few pieces left to get for that room they're on order and then we will share with you the finished result so stay tuned for that but for now I'm going to end this week's video here because we're going to be out until late tonight and then I'm going to crawl straight into bed when we get in so yes this is the final outfit thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time